Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Animation Horrors. Today I have for you Little Nemo. Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland is a 1989 film based on the comic of the same name. As the title implies, the plot is about a young boy named Nemo and his adventures in Slumberland. Slumberland itself is a realm that I'm assuming is supposed to be the land of dreams. It's all fun and games for Nemo until Nemo screws up and unleashes the Nightmare King who captures the king of Slumberland, Morpheus. And then Nemo has to go and save him, you know, that whole thing. The Nightmare King himself is what we will be examining today. The Nightmare King reminds me of Cherenbog from Fantasia, and unlike everything else in Slumberland, the Nightmare King is dark and evil, and his voice is... Uh, well, actually, his voice isn't all that scary. But imagine if he had Unicron's voice, though. Welcome, Megatron. I have summoned you here for a purpose. It is the one thing, the only thing, that can stand in my way. Nightmare King is far more than the ruler of nightmares, but perhaps he is the nightmares themselves. Imagine his dark machinations of his mind and twisted, tormented plot to rule over Slumberland, and perhaps cross into the realm of reality. After all, it seems Nemo's friends went to the realm of reality to get him, so why can't the Nightmare King? Can you imagine this guy appearing out of nowhere? Endless nightmares every single moment of your life, unable to escape the countless tortures of your sleep. But perhaps that is easier to live than to awaken in a Nightmare King-ruled world full of horrors and morbid dread. I'm the Near Nerdy Miles Critic, reminding you the next time you sleep, don't bother, because the Nightmare King has rooted himself deep in your dreams and will whisk you away into the abyss. Or give you ice cream.